गुड इवनिंग एवरीवन एवरीवनिंग ओके डू यू हैव अ ग्रेट वीकेंड अंटिल नाउ एक्सक्यूज मी आई नीड टू ड्रिंक सम वाटर सो एज यू सी समथिंग क्रेजी हैपन from the last time we saw each other and i will show you in a sec because we have some technical difficulties Hey, some of the crazy news is that I will show you this. I am a hellhound now. <laughs> I guess that's me now. <laughs> Now you will all wonder how this happened. Well, after my last stream, I could not sleep. So I decided I decided to start the night uh, the no. The night to go just to a stroll in the city as I was walking down the road I felt uneasy like someone was watching me or something at that time I didn't know what will happen <laughs> so I paid it no mind didn't really care I was thinking it was just my mind playing tricks Eventually, I was at a park that, strangely enough, I had never seen before. It was really crazy. And for some reason, it felt ominous and dangerous. After some time when uh, I was in the park, like, I don't know, two, three minutes in, I was hearing something like growling. I could not pinpoint where the growlings were coming from. So I just proceeded to sit on the bench and after some time, the growl started to get closer. My heart just started pumping, getting a little faster. I was feeling like something dangerous is coming that's then when I turned around and saw two strange glowing red dots in the dark yeah I know it's not something <laughs> that is so easy just to see and not tremble but it was I was scared and curious at the same time they seemed like they were eyes and they were getting closer and closer before I could even start to process what, what was going on the right eyes, the red eyes was in front of me you no know? it just popped in front of me I was like whoa I got scared and just fall on my back on the ground The red glowing eyes, when I saw them, you know, closer in my face, just popped in front of me, were burning bright like the fires of hell, it was crazy. And the growling was soft, but, you know, deep enough to send a murderous chill all over my spine. The creature was engulfed in the black mist and it started to get closer and closer to me. 
As I was on the ground, my body could not move. I was so afraid. At this point, I didn't know what I could do. So I just stayed there, laid down, and did nothing. So when the beast came close enough, I closed my eyes and I was getting ready, I don't know, for my imminent death. I was sure I was gonna die, to be honest. But instead, I heard a really deep voice in my head saying to me, It's time for you to wake up. We cannot afford to have a hound staying idle here. I was confused. I didn't know what that meant, to be honest. And after all this, what occurred, I'm still confused, but I have a little idea. Go back on to the story, so you can get the whole picture. The beast also said it's time for you to come back and regain your true form and purpose, because we are the Hellhounds, and our job is to bring back souls that escape from hell. Before I could process all this, the beast just screamed, WAKE UP! And the next thing I know, is that I opened my eyes, and I was in, my, in the comfort, comfort of my bed, out of nowhere. In one second I was in the park, the next second, I was in my home. It's crazy. I thought all this was a dream. Or at least that uh, that was what I was trying to convince myself it was. I felt a sore pain on my left arm. At that time, I didn't pay any attention to that, I thought it was just from the sleep. I just ignored it for the time being. But then, the pain was a little more intense, so I decided to look. And when I looked at it, there was a mark. It looked like a scratch from a beast claw. It wasn't too deep. It wasn't too big, but still a scratch. After all this, I decided to stay at home. One day has passed from then. And the next day, I think it was yeah, yesterday, I was still lying in the bed. And the time just passed, it was night already. Still trying to understand what just happened. It felt so real. And this scar on my arm... Just make it... You know... A lot more... Scary. Now I was, I was sure I was not dreaming. Or... I was in between. I didn't want to believe it yet. <clears throat> For some reason, while, while I was lying on the bed, I started to smell something burning. I stood up fast and looked around the house to find the cause of this and where it was coming from. For some reason, I could see exactly where the sm smell was coming from. Actually, I could pinpoint it. Like my smell... Like my sense of smell... had become enhanced for some reason. After that, I pinpointed where the smell was coming from. It was just my window. I ran towards and I opened it. I looked around and saw nothing. I checked up right and left. And then 
I saw down in this across the street there was a man sitting on the bed like right across the street then when I was ready to go inside again the smell just hit at me and for some crazy reason it was coming from a man across the street it was a smell like a burnt crisp smell you no know? but burning flesh i don't know it was really weird <laughs> for some reason when i smelled that my scar started glowing it was crazy, I was looking my left arm and the scar just glowed out of nowhere. It was a dark red and emitted that weird black fog that I saw yesterday on the beast. I started to feel fa fuzzy. No, well, all my mind got um, hazy, I could not think well. And the next second, I just lost consciousness. When I regained my sense again, I was in front of a fiery gate. Flames were everywhere. Excuse me if I miss some things, just my head is so hazy. I haven't even get used to it yet. Okay, all that I said I remember. Yeah, it was gate like flames were everywhere and the man was on the bench one once no was on the bench across the street from me was now unconscious in my jaws for some reason I got scared and dropped the man down and backed away I was looking at my surroundings like what what happened what have i become a beast with beef claws and sharp teeth as i was trying to grasp the moment the beast from that night appeared again and this time i could see that she was a werewolf or that's what I thought at the start, you know, from all the beast-like form mixed with the humanoid form. It was crazy, like really crazy. Out of, and then I just, you know, screamed at her. What is happening? Are you a werewolf? I am a werewolf? Where am I? So many questions. <clears throat> you know, I had so many questions and zero answers. No one was speaking at the time. The only thing I saw from her was just a small grin as she was getting closer to me. Once she got close to me, she laughed and said, no, we are not werewolves. We are hellhounds. And then, that was the time where I knew that the thing that I have become was a hellhound. A different from the other hellhounds that I saw there. And mainly, this big lady was that her flames were red and mine were blue for some reason she was always said that, I don't know, she took it to the heart for that <laughs> for that mistake that uh, no we are not werewolves you know 
which is hellhounds, and we're proud of it. And she just screamed at me, do not forget about it and be always proud of it. Because that is what it means to be a hellhound. Then I just turned and looked. The human that I left at the front door, this POV gate. She looked back at me. She saw that I was looking at him. And she laughed again. And she told me, As for this human, don't worry. He's not dead, or alive to be exact. He's a doomed soul that escaped from hell and tried to stay on the living world so he can continue his evil deeds. I was shocked, to be honest. So what I did was not kill an innocent man. It was just bringing a damned soul back to hell because they escape and hurt the living souls are in our world. As I was thinking all this and processing, she said, Do you understand? Do you understand now, Pap? A thought passed in my mind, like, very fast. Did she just call me Pop? Really? As I was processing all this new information, she got even closer to me and laid down in front of my face and asked again, but this time with a louder and more intimidating voice. Do you understand? You're a hellhound. You are not just a human anymore. Your job is to bring those damned souls back here. And your hunting ground is the living world. Oh, it's still just through just on my spine right now. And the hair on my body just get, got up. It's crazy. I gathered all my strength and courage and answered her question. Yes, I understand now. But still, I will need some time to adapt to all this. And I need to learn not to lose consciousness every time I transform. You would say, transform? He didn't say anything about this. Yes. This is what you see right now is just the base form. There is a different form with the blue flames and weird things. <laughs> it drives me more brutal, more hellhoundy. Right now I have decreased to this form where I have only reddish black hair and the ears. Because that is the best I can do for now. As I said all this She said to me, you will learn in time, just remember to not let your emotion get the best of you. And you will not, you will learn to control your hellhound powers. I remained silent for a moment. And then it occurred to me, how the hell will I get home? So I asked her, and she just dropped a smile and a kiss on my forehead. And then I passed out again. The next time I opened my eyes, I was home. That is how I became a hellhound. I use my free non-hunting time to stream games because that helps me to keep my emotions in check. Plus I learn how to control my emotions. And the more I learn about you guys, people around me, how they react to things, how I can control my fears, my angry, untamed beast inside me, so I do not let it loose at the wrong time, I don't know, 
burned down my house or hurt my loved ones. I use this and with your help I will control this beast inside me and maybe one day I will have a chance to show you my true form. <laughs>